Oh, it's just so good. I just can't believe it. Call my parents up, tell them I'm not coming home. So long, silent movies. Good morning. Today we are in the kitchen whipping up some delicious breakfast recipes. As you know, I kind of eat the same thing every day. I mean, I don't know about you, but I feel like I am a creature of habit and I just wake up, make my eggs, have some orange juice or fruit. We're switching it up today with our breakfasts. I wanted to bring you something that was gonna be warm and nourishing and just give you different ideas and just inspire you to make your mornings, you know, just a little bit more fun when it comes to flavor. So, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We just made these protein rich collagen pancakes and they're pumpkin pumpkin pancakes pumpkin protein pancakes i should have just said that they're pumpkin protein pancakes mm. okay you know what i'm not gonna be able to stop eating these right now so let's get into it Okay, so we're gonna start out with our protein pumpkin pancakes. These are so delicious. You wanna start out by just adding in all of your wet ingredients together first, and then you're dry. And I will have all of the recipes in the description box written out for you, so you can check there for all the details of everything. But you just wanna make sure that you don't over mix these. So add in your wet first, and then you're gonna slowly add in your dry until they're just combined. So now it's time to actually get these nice and cooked up. So I found that the easiest and best way to actually scoop them out is with an ice cream scooper. That worked really well. So a little tip is to flatten them down to make sure that they cook all the way just because we have that collagen in there. It makes them a little bit more fluffy and you just wanna make sure that they cook all the way through. And then when you're flipping them, cause they can be a little bit tricky to flip, you just wanna use gravity to kind of help you out to scoop that pancake onto the spatula and then flip it over so that you're not breaking them. And then it's time to serve them up and then I'm gonna serve them with some skier. I think that's how you say it. It's this really good protein rich yogurt, a little bit of cinnamon and some chopped up dates and top it all off with a drizzle of of maple syrup and you have yourself a delicious breakfast. Now that you know how to make these pancakes, they taste so delicious with this skier. I think it's, you say it's skier. It's like a, kind of think of it like a Greek yogurt, but less tangy. It doesn't have that real tartness to it and it's really neutral, but it's still very thick and creamy, and again, very protein rich. It's really good, and it tastes absolutely phenomenal on top of these pumpkin pancakes. And then the dates, there's something about dates in there too. It kind of gives it this caramely flavor, so yummy. I absolutely love dates, and it just really makes it rich and just very, I don't know, just cozy. This just makes me feel cozy just looking at it. This is so good, you definitely have to make this. And the good thing is that it makes a lot of pancakes, so you can actually just freeze whatever you have left over, and then you can make them, just pop them in the toaster or heat them up on a pan throughout the week. Especially because pancakes, to me, are a little bit of a labor of love. I'm not necessarily gonna make them every single morning. Uh, but if they're pre-made and they're pre-prepped you know, prepped out and advanced, I would not mind heating up a quick pancake, you know, in the morning and putting a little, oh, that sounds so good. This is like to die for. I can't even explain to you. Everything just complements each other. All right, I'm done. Oh, it's just so good. I just can't believe it. Secret 
secret to the perfect veggies is to add a little bit of water into the pan and cover it once it's kind of almost done cooking and that kind of steams the potatoes. So now we're gonna just whip up our eggs. Now this is the best way to make eggs for a breakfast burrito. You're going to scramble them, add them into the pan, and do not touch them. About a minute and a half later, I just added in a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano, and then you want to fold it up as you can see that I am doing. So don't touch it at all, fold it up, and these are so perfect. They taste absolutely amazing, and they just look so beautiful in the breakfast burrito. Now I'm gonna be heating up a Santa wrap. These are really good. I love them because they are very resilient. They don't break and they're just perfect for making your breakfast burrito. want to go ahead and put whatever toppings that you want so I added in the true story bacon uh, some farm fresh tomatoes avocado and of course some Malden sea salt and you have the best breakfast burrito ever 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 so I basically made the executive decision that we're having breakfast for lunch and we might even have it for dinner because I thought why not? Why not just share all these recipes with you today and then I can get these recipes to you sooner. And who doesn't love all day breakfast? Like especially, you know, restaurants you go and they're like breakfast all day. I'm like, that's my kind of place. You know what I mean? And there's nothing like breakfast for dinner, but breakfast for lunch, it just feels different to me in the best way. So this burrito, I just could not be more excited for this. I love these Santa coconut wraps. So I get a lot of questions on where I get them. I get them from Whole Foods. You can also find them at Sprouts. I found them at local health food stores as well, uh, co-ops and things like that. These are great. You can find them on Amazon as well. And I just love them so much. They don't break. As you saw, I heat them up over the fire and I freeze them so that they never ever go bad. And they're really soft. They're very easy to mold and shape, but they don't break which is what I love. Let's just take a look at this burrito because if this is not a beautiful breakfast burrito, like I don't know what is. Look at the layering. Just, it looks, totally forgot to put cilantro in there. Literally just need to shove that in. Um, that's amazing. Okay, I'm not even trying to be dramatic. That is the best breakfast burrito I've ever had. I can't even tell you how good this is, Meester. I wish you could have a bite. There's something about caramelized onion and sweet potato. That combination is so delicious and it just, mm, it's so good. Words fall short. Words fall short at how good this is. It looks so good. I just literally cannot handle it. It is packed full of flavor and obviously bioavailable protein, carbohydrate with your sweet potato and fats. You know, this is such a delicious meal. It is so satisfying. It is so delicious. And remember what I always say, a happy donut is better than a sad salad. It really does make a difference how you take in your food when you are feeling stressed or like I can't eat that and restricting foods and nervous and you feel guilty for eating certain foods. That stress literally affects you. It affects your physiology and it affects, it upregulates your sympathetic nervous system. That's your fight or flight. And you're telling your body, oh, I'm stressed, I feel guilty. You're telling it it's not good. And what happens is you're not in that rest and digest. You're in the sympathetic, the opposite of the parasympathetic. And that is going to make you not be able to digest your food. Literally, it slows your digestion and it, it, it makes you not be able to assimilate those good nutrients. So really how you approach your food and your plate, just being thankful and you know, looking at food as it's going to nourish my body and, and that is going to be so life-giving truly to your, your bones and your cells and just the joy and the gratefulness that you have when you come to eating your food, it does make a difference. It really, really does. It's so true what the proverb says that pleasant words are like honeycomb. They're sweet to our soul and they are health to our bones. Even the words that we think about in our minds, it affects us. It affects us on a cellular level and I absolutely wholeheartedly believe that. I don't think there's anything more nourishing than loving your body and being grateful for food and just that is gonna nourish your body. So I just wanna let you know, no matter what is on your plate, you absolutely are doing a great job and you're nourishing your body. It does not need to be perfect. There is no such thing as perfect. 
It's okay if you can't find coconut wraps. Like you're doing an amazing job and I just hope that you get food inspiration and I love to cook. I love cooking. I love sharing meals with you and there's just nothing that brings me more joy than hanging out with you and getting to eat good food. I actually wish we could do it together. So anyway, that's my little chat, but we'll see if we make breakfast for dinner. Like we'll see. Um, but either way, I'm going to eat the rest of this burrito and we'll see you in the next recipe. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full. I never mind it though when I'm watching cooking shows. If Duff Goldman's talking and he wants to describe the food while taking a bite, I'm ready to listen. Now we're gonna make our delicious, warming, yummy fall oatmeal. So I started out by soaking half a cup of steel cut oats overnight and then rinsing them out, adding in one and a half cups of water with our soaked oats and along with a little bit of salt. And you just wanna bring that to a boil and then lower the heat so that it can cook up for about 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna chop up my gala apple and my seckle pears. It's not really a secret, but the secret to an amazing oatmeal is to cook up your fruit over the stove top. It really enhances the flavors. It just makes it so warm and yummy. And then I'm gonna add in some collagen and a little bit of raw milk just to add in a little bit more protein to the oatmeal. And then you just wanna go ahead and serve it up. I put some skier on there as well for some more protein, really trying to you know, add those good amino acids in there and make it a nice complete meal. And this is so, so, so yummy. Good morning. I just finished making our autumn oatmeal. This looks so unbelievably delicious and I did just end up having a regular dinner last night, a dinner dinner. This oatmeal smells amazing and I love steel cut oats personally. Those are my favorite. I soaked them overnight and then this morning we just cooked them right up over the stove top, obviously with our water, but then we added in the collagen just to make it more protein rich, get those amino acids in there. And then of course the skier, I think that's how you say it, the yogurt, that protein rich yogurt that kind of tastes like, it's kind of like the same consistency as Greek, but it's not as tangy. And I just feel like that is going to bring it to a new level with creaminess. And then I love Ceylon cinnamon. I'll link the exact cinnamon that I use down below, but I just transferred it into my own little uh, jar and uh, it's kind of dirty now that I'm really, well, I guess that means it's loved. So anyway, and then the seckle pears. So I used gala apples and then seckle pears. Seckle pears kind of have, they're so delicious. They're kind of like, to me, they're divine. They are so good. I feel like when God created seckle pears, he just made them something special. They are absolutely delicious. They almost have this like vanilla flavor to them. And I got both the apples and the pears from my local farm. So, and there's something about fruit from the local farm. It just tastes so rich and flavorful. It's very warming, you know, the pears and the apples cooked with a little bit of cinnamon and it, it just may, it takes it to a different level. It just elevates those flavors so beautifully, but yet so easy. It's such an easy thing to do. It only takes a couple of minutes while your oatmeal is cooking. You can just chop that up. Instead of just plopping it on the oatmeal, cooking it up over the stove, it really just kind of brings everything to life a little bit more. So let's try our oatmeal. I'm really excited about this. Mm, I feel like I want to mix everything. Do you do that with your oatmeal? Do you just like mix everything up? But at the same time, I kind of just want to, you know, create the perfect bite. But then again, if you mix it, I feel like you can just do that. I don't know. What do you do with your oatmeal? I, I don't know what I do. I kind of want to do both. I'm going to go cozy up. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to eat my oatmeal and I'm going to make myself a latte. I'm going to have my daily bread in the corner and we're going to have a nice cozy little autumn morning and then we might make breakfast for lunch <laughs> later on today. <laughs> So long, silent movies, the quiet dances on the screen. 
You're just gonna start out by chopping up your bell pepper and then a sweet onion. And I use some organic baby potatoes, really good, very satisfying and delicious. And then I used my chopper, threw it in with some ghee. I ended up transferring it to a bigger pan just because this was too small of a pan. You wanna add your cumin, garlic powder, a little bit of onion salt, and then some paprika and some Malden sea salt flakes. So yummy, definitely makes a big difference. And then to make the perfect poached eggs, you wanna crack your egg onto a plate and then transfer it into a bowl. And then what you wanna do is add a little bit of vinegar to a boiling pot of water and swirl it around so you get that nice vortex. And then add in your egg and cook it up for about two to three minutes. You're gonna serve that up over your veggies. I totally forgot that I added in some boiled white mushrooms and then to the veggie mix and then just serve it up with some Parmesan Reggiano and some fresh cilantro and some more Malden sea salt. And this breakfast is unreal. So we're doing breakfast for dinner tonight. I will say, I think it would be so helpful if just doing one little prep for your veggies and that way you can kind of have it throughout the week because that is the part that does take the longest. So I feel like that would be really super convenient just to have your veggies already done and then you can make your eggs however you wanna make them. And then it's super fast. Like we're talking like a couple minutes, however long it takes uh, to cook the eggs. So. Yeah, this is such a delicious breakfast. I definitely wanna start doing that. It really inspired me because I love this and I love the breakfast burrito. I love both of them so much. And it's definitely inspired me to pre-cook my veggies and to just have that kind of done and out of the way. And that way it makes breakfast so quick and really flavorful. It is so good, I'm gonna enjoy it, but I love, love, love this recipe. It's so easy, the spice combination, I just feel like it's so simple, but it's really good and flavorful. And then of course you get your fat soluble vitamins from the Parmesan Reggiano. I love Parmesan Reggiano, it's super easy to digest too. Again, if you're trying to reintroduce dairy, that's one of the ways that I did that was through Parmesan Reggiano because there's no lactose in it and it's super nutrient dense actually so but i love the mushrooms as well those really help with our hormones and yeah it's just super good you know you get your bioavailable protein our dryer's going off and your carbohydrate and you get your little potatoes in there and i'm actually going to have this with a little side of some orange juice that just sounds so good i feel like i haven't had orange juice in a while because we've been out of it so i'm going to do that and that's a great way to get your minerals in there and i love it it's just such a yummy delicious nourishing breakfast everything he makes really really good oh. but this is like if you go to like a really good breakfast spot yeah that's what you have here that's what it reminds me of yeah a really good breakfast spot totally so. Yay! Yeah, this is amazing. This does remind me of like a really good breakfast it's spot. It's super good. Totally recommend. <laughs> you like that one, huh? Yeah, it's bomb. I will say one more quick thing. So the chopper, again, I talked about this in my crock pot video. That makes chopping your veggies not even, it doesn't even take any time. It takes like one second to just put everything through the chopper. It's so easy, so convenient, it makes everything so quick and easy. And then, so that's super convenient and a great way if you are gonna do your veggie prep, It'll be so, so, so quick. And then you can have it throughout the week. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that. And then also Malden sea salt, just like a little flavor tip. Malden sea salt is, I don't know if I've ever like called it out. It is the best salt ever. They're like these salt flakes. And I actually get a big tub of them off of Amazon and then I have my little salt container and I just refill it. They are so good. I feel like once you taste it, you realize just how delicious salt can be like that sounds so silly but they really are something special the salt flakes are just they're chef's kiss they're so good okay we have a little fun bonus recipe so i'm going to be teaching you how to make the easiest most bioavailable calcium powder that you can add into your smoothies before i show you this smoothie recipe i thought this would be really fun to do i've been wanting to do it for quite a while and bo and i were finally doing it so we've been saving up our eggshells which is perfect because this is a recipe or a breakfast recipe video so if you're eating eggs you can save your shells and then also there it's a zero waste way and you get your bioavailable calcium from a whole food form and 
Obviously, you know, of course, that calcium is so important, but it was even just a reminder as I was studying the nervous system this week that it's it's even important for, you know, we think of it as like, you know, it's so important for our teeth and everything like that, of course, but it's also essential for our muscle contractions. So in a very, very, very simplified two second way, basically our motor neurons, they spit out acetylcholine and basically then calcium is then released into the muscle cell and actin and myosin can then overlap or create the muscle contraction. So anyway, that's a really simplified way of saying it, but it's true. We need calcium for muscle contractions and of course our bones and our teeth and everything like that. What we're gonna do is just boil up the eggshells and then we're gonna bake them at I think 220 for about 20 minutes. And then we're just gonna grind them up into a powder. So let's do it. And we still got all this trick is you got to kind of break it up before you put it in there. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like geeking These are out. the things that we get excited about. I know. <laughs> You're like, woo! Let's make some eggshell powder! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> uh, that sound, I live for that sound. I'm excited about our, pro, our, our uh, breakfast smoothie at 10 o'clock at night. Wow, it's a really fine powder. I'm excited. We, we made our own powder. Do I think it's half a teaspoon? What if I just dropped it? What if I just dropped it? Ah. This collagen caramel banana smoothie is so good. You're just gonna add four dates and one and a half frozen bananas along with, this makes two servings, so you're gonna do four scoops of collagen and then one tablespoon of cocoa powder and two tablespoons of cacao powder and then a teaspoon of honey and then of course we had to add in our uh, eggshell powder so our pure calcium and then this is just about I, I didn't use a full one i would say like a cup of coconut water and maybe half a cup of raw milk you could do coconut milk if you like too and then i just added in a little bit of ice and some cinnamon and blend it up. I never measure my smoothies, but I really tried to measure it for you. And this smoothie is so, so, so good. It's delicious. Cheers. Ooh, the eggshell Cheers. powder. Ooh. See if we can taste it. Hopefully not. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Bo's just so excited about his eggshell powder. It's good for you. My, my fingernails will be all nice. I'm all, I'm stoked about the teeth benefit part. I you know. I need my teeth to be strong. Yeah. Mineralized. <laughs> this is good. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that concludes all of our breakfast recipes. I hope you enjoyed and you got some inspiration. I love you so much. Don't forget to click thumbs up if you did like this video. Thanks for hanging out with me and I will see you very soon. Bye. I'm gonna grab some. Ooh. Good. I was like, why are you coming mm -hmm. over here? <laughs> and then you're getting more. I'm gonna put it, under, put it next to my nightstand. <laughs> That's where I'm gonna keep it in a dry, cool place where it's protected. Oh, my parents.